Hi guys, uh, welcome back into the channel. Uh, I'm doing something which is a little bit unusual. Um, I'm actually going to restream this uh, whole journey from Edinburgh Waverley to Dundee uh, on the Just Trains DLC Scottish East Coast uh, line. Um, we're sat at Waverley at the minute and I'm just going to get this train underway because uh, it's a very busy station. Um, now the reason that I'm doing this again is because I've actually ramped all the graphics right up uh, on this game and I've noticed that the uh, the graphics lag on it has been greatly reduced. Now I've got a 1070 uh, GTX uh, Nvidia card here uh, which is brand new which I've just put, put in my uh, machine and it seems like it's better to make the uh, graphics card work hard um, because it seems to minimize lag in this game uh, graphics lag um, which is uh, a bit of a bonus because this game is notorious for uh, redrawing uh, the scenery as you go along and it's a bit of a pain in the butt to be honest so I thought it might be a good idea which is move the microphone closer it might be a good idea to actually uh, use this as a little bit of a test um, this stream on the graphics cards so everything on here is ultra everything um, and I'm using the uh, Armstrong powerhouse uh, sky effects and also um, the uh, improved uh, rail tracks so let's just have a look outside you can see the quality of the, uh, the graphics here on this 1070 I just thought that I would uh, restream this because it's a good test of this graphics card. I had everything turned down a little bit before and it was actually uh, creating screen lag, which was um, a bit of a pain in the butt. But after a quick test and uh, ramping everything up to ultra, it seems to be working so much smoother. So let's see how smooth this uh, journey will be. So we're just leaving Edinburgh Waverley now. And um, we've got this castle somewhere up there. We might just get a little glimpse of it. The train's just gone into the tunnel towards Haymarket. Oh, I love the noise of these uh, carriages um, groaning as you uh, as you watch it drive past. I have to say this Just Trains DLC is absolutely amazing and I will be buying more of these DLCs because they are just so good. So this is a quick drive. What's called a quick drive. Let's just get the speed up a little bit. 35. I can hear the graphics card fans whirring away in the uh, background here so um, but the lag seems to be greatly reduced so this is quite an interesting test just click it here it's got to watch your speed Now I'm trying to stream in uh, 1080 um, at 60 frames a second. I just thought that it would be a good idea to see if streaming this will cause any lag in it. And it doesn't seem to. It seems to be running really smoothly. So, you know what, I'm just going to let the fans chug away. But um, it seems like, especially with this game, turning the graphics full on Ultra and making the graphics card work that little bit harder is actually minimising all the graphics lag. Which is fantastic news and you can see that everything is working really smoothly. A little bit of lag there. I think we're going to get a little bit of lag but it's a lot better than it was, that's for sure. Let's just get a speed up. It's definitely better than it was. It 
detail in this game is stunning. Look at the locals and the reflections. We've just gone past Murrayfield now. Just increase the speed a little bit. We've got uh, 90 miles an hour speed limit on here. See if we can get an outside view. There you go. Here's a screenshot. Now, previously, there was quite a bit of uh, graphics like when we passed trains or animated uh, AI trains. Excuse me, but here it is super smooth. We're passing Jenners. Basically, that's the uh, Scottish Harrods. Well, some people think it is. I am really impressed with this graphics card. The way that this is handling um, this game, because this game is notorious for these little graphic spikes as it redraws the terrain as you uh, progress on your journey. So here we've got another train ahead of us. You can see the smoke. Jeez, gotta watch your speed a little bit. So, speed in now, let's get down to 75. Too busy talking. 75, there we go. So you can see here, there was in my previous stream there was quite a bit of lag on that corner but it looks pretty cool now this is definitely a lot smoother than it was so I actually spent quite a bit of time trying to adjust the settings and stuff to get it to work minimizing the graphics lag when it, all it seems I just needed to uh, ramp everything right up just going through the uh, south gale another train ahead of us let's just see I can see the smoke definitely no lag there the birds are flying no lag Really smooth animation. The graphics car's working hard, I can hear it in the background. Don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but I can hear the fans going. You got a fire there. Yep. Really super impressed, not only with the, uh, the DLC but this graphics card. I'm so glad that I made this purchase. It's just making things work so much better and we can just turn the graphics right up. I'm running this on a, an i5 7th generation. It's KB Lake processor, I think, on 16 gig of RAM and uh, the 1070 uh, graphics card. So I'm going to be upgrading my system shortly to an i7. So just give it that little bit more of a punch in processing power. But this seems to be working like a dream at the minute. It's just getting a bit of a drive by. That's an awesome view. Yep. Everything seems to be everything seems to be working really smoothly. So here's an AI train coming. So this should, in theory, this should have a graphics lag, but it doesn't. So I'm really impressed with that. One thing's for sure is with the uh, the fans on the uh, 1070 um, firing up, I can feel my the heat coming off the uh, computer. <laughs> so 
So we're coming up to the uh, fourth bridge, fourth rail bridge. There's Concord in the background. Concord, why not? You can see here how super smooth this looks. Let's just zoom out a little bit, and give you a bit of an idea of the uh, landscape. So that's how detailed the landscape is looking on this 1070. It's really smooth. reduce the speed down a little bit down to 60 and <coughs> got another train ahead of us excuse me it's a DMU ahead of us what's he doing is he stopped or is he moving I can't tell I think he stopped Ah, this is definitely working a lot smoother. So we've got the caravans parked up there on the uh, right hand side. And just speeding a little bit, let's just dip under 60, thank you. In fact we need to get our speed down to 50 actually. Here we go, got a few locals here. Now this would definitely graph its lag here. And it isn't super smooth. <coughs> so it seems like if you've got a half decent graphics card, just ramp everything up as much as you can take. So this is the uh, fourth bridge, this is Dalmany Down platform. few people on the platform now and ahead of us is the fourth rail bridge there on the left hand side we can actually see let's just get an outside view wow container ship and the fourth road bridge there's Queen's Ferry that's South Queen's Ferry there I think I know it very well. I was born just a few miles up the road from here. We are now got some guys on the network rail on the guys on the uh, track. Let's just give them a little note that we're here. Thank you. Now that has got to be a spectacular view. How stunning does that look as we go across the uh, fourth rail bridge? This is they're turning the uh, 1070. up to full ultra graphics has been worth doing to you now. So this game seems to uh, perform a lot better. When everything's ramped up, it seems. Just gotta watch that 50. So we're actually approaching North Queen's Ferry now. This is platform two ahead of us. Pretty amazing view. Yes, it's running so much smoother now. We've got the uh, train, passenger train part in at the uh, platform there, North Queen's Ferry. As we go into the tunnel. Just reduce our speed down to 40. Oh, there's another uh, Intercity HST there ahead of us. 
He seems to be at the uh, stoplight. He's waiting on the train department from North Queens Ferry. How cool does that look? It's nice and smooth. Just watch that speed, doesn't go over 40. Thank you. Cool. I am so, so, so impressed with this graphics card. I've just noticed something else actually. There is, if you look over on the right hand side, you can see there are some container cranes. Now they, they weren't there before. down to 30 as we come out of this tunnel. We've got Inverkeething um, ahead of us. Oh, I can feel the heat coming off this uh, PC at the minute. Certainly making it work hard on this route. Who'd have thought it? After playing this game for months and having these graphics spikes in it, by buying the 1070, turning everything up to ultra graphics, it's got rid of the uh, graphics spikes. Is that oil tankers there? Well, it looks like oil tankers. British real. It's nice and easy through Inverkeething. This is platform two. A few people on the platform. Beautifully modelled. So, definitely buying more of these uh, Just Trains uh, DLCs for uh, Train Sim 2019. We got some buses parked in here. The bus depot. My God, this is so smooth. It's looking good. Got some rolling stock uh, parked up there in the siding. Yeah, speed increased to 50. The lighting in here looks amazing. Yeah, I'm running um, Armstrong powerhouse um, track um, upgrade and also a sky upgrade so it'll be great to play this when uh, it's raining actually Dalgetty Bay ahead of us I've got another train on stop here smooth 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 Do you know what I like also is uh, on the DMU there that we just passed, some of the windows are open and uh, I just think that's just so realistic, so cool. Get the sky effects there and the smoke. So this is down Dalgetty Bay. Excuse me, got a bit of a dry throat. I think it's the heat that this computer's throwing out at the minute. Right. So again, I haven't seen any graphics spikes in this at all. No graphic lag, everything's running smooth. Graphics card's working over time. Stretching its legs a little bit.
I'll tell you what I have noticed also, there's a lot of AI trains on this line. It's quite a busy line, but I've noticed this time round that a lot of them are just parked still, not moving. I don't know if that's because I've ramped the graphics right up and it's compensating, I don't know. But we shall find out. So is this our tower ahead? Yep. Yeah. Tractor on the bridge. So how cool does that look? Love the hills in the background. Just gotta watch the speed to bring it down a little bit to 50. We've got 50 up ahead here. Okay, so here's another train. So he stopped. He stopped too. Love the animals in the fields, the sheep. Okay, so this is Aberdour ahead of us now. And the foliage in the just trains, uh, I think they're 2D actual trees, but you know what? They just look realistic. They look fabulous. I'm also planning on getting a hold of uh, some of the US uh, routes. I do like the uh, Canadian freight routes, uh, which I have. You can see the birds animated there. There's no lag at all. So I'm really, really, really chuffed with this 1070. It is just coping brilliantly. I mean, like I said before, this is an i5 7th gen 16 gigabyte. Uh, it's actually an MSI Infinity uh, PC, but I've um, stuck in the 1070 graphics card last week and I'm trying to sort of do muffler streams on it and just want to see what its capabilities are and with this game it's just handling it beautifully. I've actually streamed this same route um, a couple of times uh, so this is this is the third time and I've got to say by far it's the smoothest, it's the best. So there's a lesson learned there. Just ramp the graphics right up and just get straight into the game. There's Burnt Island there in the distance. So just getting our speed ramped up. Let's get it up to 65. Let's get an outside view. There you go. Just looking down the beach there, you can see. On the coast. And this Virgin Trains HST. Just watch the speed a little bit. Just passing another DMU there. Again, you notice it's stationary. Burnt Island to our right. And we have Burnt Island Station ahead of us. It's Platform 2, isn't it? So the sim time is 19.20. And the ETA into Dundee is 2014, so we've got a little bit to go. Yeah, really impressed with this card, it's running really smoothly. You can see the odd, tiny, tiny little lag as it's redrawing. But it's very minimal, it's very, very playable this now. So there we've got another uh, train packed up here. Some industrial. Look at that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. We've got the spires of the churches ahead of us. And uh, Burnt Island. Well and truly in five. So there's the uh, spires, church. You'll also notice on the signals, um, the signals have quite a little, quite a bit of glow to them. Let's just watch my speed. Um, that's because I've downloaded the Armstrong Powerhouse um, plugin. Well, not plugin, but mod that makes them look better. You can see here 
the docks. Let's just try and get an outside view. You can see the docks. Doesn't that look amazing? So this is Burnt Island. You see a lighthouse and we've got the containers. The container terminal there. Well it's not terminal as such but the docks and terminal there. There's a good view. Let's just get a drive past. There you go. What a brilliant noise that makes. Got the ship passing in the left hand side there. Our Virgin train as we continue up the coast. In this, uh, I've got network rail guys there. Awesome view of the beach. You saw the trees redraw there. Just try and give you that view of the beach. There you go. You see right up the coastline there. That looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. So I'm going to crack home with this. I'm going to get this, um, this route finished. We've got another passenger train. He's stopped at the signal. I also noticed the smoke coming out of the uh, the chimney pots is, is a lot better. It's, it looks like real smoke actually. Whereas before it was like little circles. Didn't quite look right. So what have we got ahead of us there? Kinghorn Platform 2. Okay. Just following the road. We've got lots of holiday homes up on the uh, cliff side there. Caravans ahead of us. Great tourist destination this. There's caravans there. speed right down. I'm going to be speeding now, not paying attention. Down, 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 speed, 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 speed. There we go. Down to 30. Perfect. Good call. So this is a 45 just out of this tunnel, but we've got to we always have to make sure that the last carriage passes that marker before we can actually increase our speed to uh, 45. So here we've got another passenger train, it's just waiting. You see the smoke coming out of the engines? He's just waiting at the signal. Just try and go slowly here so you can actually see the uh, passenger train. Detail is just incredible. Can't wait to do more routes on this uh, using this graphics card. It's like having a big train set. Okay, so let's just increase. We've got a 45 here now, so we can increase our speed. And it's a gorgeous church. So look at the modeling here. Isn't it stunning? It makes me want to go there on holiday now. It's a caravan park. Oh, we've got a container ship out in the water. Caravan park looks really cool, doesn't it? Let's just watch the speed a little bit here. We're on a 65, we're okay. So that caravan park looks stunning. Next to the beach. As we uh, progress up the uh, East Coast Line, Scottish East Coast Line, on Just Trains DLC for uh, Train Simulator 29. Let's just get our speed increased up to 65. 
That's got quite a few containers on it, that ship, hasn't it? Blimey. Let's just uh, check the windscreen wipers. All cool. Watch the speed. Don't go over 65. Let's get a view of the container ship in the Virgin HST. I am so impressed with this graphics card. It is just the best. It, it actually is the Asus Dual GeForce GTX 1070 8GB. I've got the box above me on the shelf. I'm just trying to get the best kit that I can so that we can stream. And my son actually, um, Zylo. Um, he has a very similar PC to mine and we're just looking at uh, constantly upgrading that also. He's just bought the same graphics card as myself and he is looking to upgrade his PC to an i7 so that he can stream. That is stunning. Let's just get it down. 65. Uh, there's Wraith Rovers. Wraith Rovers. Football ground. Let's see if we can get a drive by here. There we go. There you go. Kakodi Station. And the cathedral in the background. And you see power lines also. Kakodi North. I don't know if that's a power station in the uh, in the background there. I can certainly see uh, a big chimney. Oh, going too fast. Not paying attention. Through Kakodi. Got a local parked up there on the siding. Go. That's what we want. <coughs> and another passenger. It's just waiting at the signal. British Rail. Looking cool that train. So it's 1929 and we have got an ETA of 2012. So we're just going through this little industrial part of uh, Kokodi. Let's try and get a better view for you. There you go. So this is just running at ultra, ultra everything. And it is so smooth. Look at the warehouse with the uh, glass roof. And pass another church. Two churches there actually. Cool. Increase the speed now to 75. I've got a hotel on our left. Here she comes. I've got the high rise blocks in the background there. It's a good view, isn't it? Just winding away through Kokori. Okay, we're able to get a bit of speed up here now. Yeah, you've got a train here passing us now. You can see there's no graphics lag at all. It is super smooth. I'll try and get as close up to 75 as I can. That's pretty close there, isn't it? It's a brilliant view. We'll increase our speed in a minute or two to 85. Let's fly through this bridge.
let's just increase to 85 and try and push it I'll need to reduce my speed though shortly because I got a restriction on Thornton South Probably as far as I'm going to push it. Okay, let's speed down to 60. Just the foliage and everything, the landscape just looks fantastic. And inside of the train just looks awesome. We've got a DMU parked up at the line. Oh, we've got a plane above us now. A little, uh, is that a Cessna? The way he's flying to. It's such a busy line, this. Is that a freight train again? Is that a freight train? Can't see. Yeah, it is, yeah. Check out where we are on the line. So let's go centre player. Right, so we're down here. Show task. So we've got to go all the way to here, Dundee platform four. So far, so good. Everything running really smooth. No graphics spikes really that are noticeable. All the graphics in Train Sim 2018 turn right up. Maximising full power on this uh, 1070 GTX uh, Asus dual graphics card we have got a large freight train there okay how we're we doing we can increase to 75 now you also see that I've increased the draw distance so you can see the hills in the background the landscape in the background just looks stunning Mark Inch ahead of us. Again, just so smooth. Everything's really slick and smooth. Let's just turn it down. So worth running these test streams to make sure that the uh, the quality of the stream is good and the graphics quality is smooth. I'll tell you the only thing that I would. Um, wouldn't do on here is use the horn because the horn on these uh, trains are awful. <laughs> I'm doing well here. Let's just get down to 60. Uh, 60, thank you. Mark Inch. Mark Inch. Nineteen thirty-five and ETA is twenty eleven. We're making good time. Making good time. There we go, there's a good view here of the bridge. Let's just zoom out a little bit so you can see it going over the bridge. That's pretty awesome. increase the uh, speed up to 85 this is my most favourite route on train sim. I love it. I think what I'll need to do is also see if we can get a hold of some, uh, some more locals and stuff to add into the mix.
you can see how well modelled the um, <coughs> excuse me the uh, the cab is. Cool. Just trying to make up a little bit of time. And it's 75. 75. Here we go. Perfect. Oh, we've got a timber yard up there, look. There's a timber yard. Train just looks stunning. the train and there you go it's looking good really smooth double fans fired up on the graphics card down here That's working so much better than it was before now. I'm really pleased with this. Let's get up to 85. So I also um, enjoy X-Plane 11. So I'm planning on doing quite a few more streams. I also bought last week Active Sky for X-Plane 11. So I'm hoping to do um, a couple of streams uh, on that also. As well as some of the driving games because uh, Project Cars 2, ra Race Room and uh, such like. So I'm hoping to do quite a few of that. Also um, Euro Truck Simulator 2. So that'll be good. And some ETS 2 on the go. Lady Bank platform. We're certainly making good headway here. Sky looks really nice, looks such a nice day. Okay. Here's a good uh, drive by. I've got some more wagons here. Is this cool? I think it might be coal this. Yeah, I think it looks like coal. Coal wagons. I'll try and just keep that speed up. Just looks stunning on this 1070. Absolute stunning. Whistle sign there. I'm not going to blow the whistle because it's awful. Oh, well, once. Let's try it. Oh, it's awful. Awful, awful, awful. It's Lady Bank Station, beautifully modelled yet again. Absolutely amazing. Just watch, we're going to be speeding. There we go. Let's get down a 60. I've got a container. Uh, Freight there. Just got to watch the speed. I'm oh, back up to 75 now. There's a couple of a uh, couple of big locals there. Giving way to uh, our Virgin HST as we crack on. Got another whistle here. Awful. Oh, it's a steam train. Quite often see steam trains on this route, but I've not seen one for a while, so that's uh, a bit of a treat. There we go, just get our speed now. We're firing up to 85, and then we've got 100 ahead of us. So that's looking pretty cool. Let's just zoom right in. Oh, 
the other thing that I noticed about this um, DLC is how brilliantly the farmhouses and the farm buildings are uh, modelled. No, I'm not going to blow the whistle this time. <laughs> Bridge over in the distance. As we go over the level crossing. Got another, um, that another level crossing, yeah. Got the birds flying over the field there. I don't know if you saw the birds there just hanging in the sky, that was funny. <laughs> right, we're on 100 now, here we go, Springfield platform, we're going to go screaming through here, all the cars parked up in the car park. Awesome, there's a police car. God, these birds get everywhere, don't they? Okay, so we're at 90 miles an hour now. Uh, trying to make up a little bit of time. We have made up a little bit of time, a couple of minutes. As we uh, crack on towards Dundee. Oh, we're at, uh, nearly at 100 now. Just bring a speed down to 75. Just hit the 75 marker. Ooh, that was a big bang. There we go. Let's bring a speed right down. Come on. Seventy-five. Thank you very much. Cooper. Cooper is a very well-known place in Fife. Here's a screenshot. Got a few bumps in the rails. Okay. Got a speed down of 60, 55. Oh, we're well too quick through here. Here we go. Slow down, slow down. There we go. Signals up. I love the touch with the signals. Oh, it's just looks at the detail on this. It looks immense with the uh, 1070 GTX Asus. I'm so pleased with this. Okay, what have we got? Let's have a look. Looks like coal mining. Is it coal mining? Looks like coal mining. Don't think we're too far away now. Let's see where we are. Okay, we're down here. So look, and the task is here. So we're not far away, not far away at all. A train stopped at the uh, signal. So we've not got long to go now before we actually um, come into Dundee.
try and get some speed up uh, to uh, in this last stretch. <coughs> I'm just pushing it a little bit now, trying to get through uh, through this last stretch. Love the sound of the engines firing up as you uh, increase the power. It's probably one of my favourite trains. This actually, I love the sound of the engine and the panoramic view that you get in from the driver's cab. Hmm, got some flickering graphics here. Beautifully modelled farms. They look cool, don't they look cool? So yeah, I'll definitely be looking at the uh, Just Trains uh, website and just seeing what other um, DLCs that I can download. Because uh, this one I think is, I mean I far prefer this than the Dovetail um, DLCs really. I just love all the quirky little modeling that they put in like the aeroplanes and stuff so it's just really cool. I'm gonna have a look and see what other um, DLCs are out there for um, Train Sim which isn't made by Dove Dovetail, um, non-Dovetail DLCs. So we're just approaching Lucas now you can see again absolutely everything working super smooth all graphics turned right up on this on the uh, running the uh, 1070 Zeus dual 1070 8 gigabyte graphics card on an i5 16 gigabyte PC she's looking good Approaching uh, Lucas, which is famous for its RAF base, of course. There's birds again flying. Let's just get it down to 55. So, one other um, guy that I follow on here is a guy called Alan Thompson. So, check out his website and uh, check out him on uh, YouTube because he does a lot of uh, train simulation uh, streams. It does a brilliant job. There you go, just going through Lucas now, signals up. Got a local parts up there. Can pass the signal box. Looks a bit overgrown, doesn't it? Okay, we're getting our uh, seventy five miles an hour now. Awesome. Seventy five. There we go. Always wait until the last carriage passes the uh, marker, the speed limit marker. So fifty three at the minute. I'm on to let's have a look. She's coming around the corner. Look at the smoke, black smoke. She's winding her way through the countryside. The colour of the trees, look at this. I 
this is what simulation gaming is all about for me. I just realised you can actually get it on the uh, desktop PC. Just following the road. So we head towards Dundee. The uh, sunset ahead of us in the sky. You can see the Armstrong powerhouse, the colours, the gradients in the sky and stuff. It just makes it look so much better. So I've, I've actually just bought uh, last week Active Sky for my X Plane 11. Uh, so I'm hoping to do a few streams on that shortly. Someone else you should check out if you're into flight sims is a chap called, well, his YouTube channel is called Flight Dick to Sim, and um, he's the guy that inspired me into getting into X Plane 11. And again, he does such a fabulous job, and his streams are amazing. I learn so much from him. He's actually a real life pilot, um, but he brings that to the uh, sim gaming. We're doing well here. I don't think we've got long to go. So what are we are 19:55. We've got mm, not long to go. Well, about 10 minutes. Oh, there's an HST parked up there in Intercity. Actually, is he coming out? He's he's coming out. Yeah, he's coming out, Dundee. Doesn't that look glorious? Passing the oil tankers. Up. Looks like uh, oil. Straight into the sunset. Look at that, couldn't be more perfect. I'm passing, I've got buses parked up there. And looks like an open cast mine, possibly, or quarry of some sort. Can we have a look outside? Get an overall view. It looks like a quarry. Let's just zoom in on this train a little bit more now. As we come into Dundee, I think we're heading towards the Tay Bridge. Yeah. And just drop a speed down to 65. Come on. Thank you very much. 65. Check on the map where we are because we're not far away at all so that's us there and if we look here got a train there this long straight stretch is the Tay Bridge which we will be going over very shortly and that will take us straight into Dundee there's the uh, aircraft again there you see there it's flying above us nice Cessna I think he's following us actually. Ooh, gotta get a speed ride down. I wasn't paying attention then. Slow, 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 slow. I wasn't paying attention. Wormit. What a brilliant name. So this is the Tay Bridge. How stunning does this look? If I zoom out a little bit, you can actually see the old remains of the old Tay Bridge which actually collapsed. Oh, is that a hundred, a couple of hundred years ago, something like that? Twenty mile an hour limit here. 
We've got a nice uh, yacht. Look at this. This looks stunning. Look at the light just bouncing off that sunset, bouncing off the uh, off the locomotion locomotive there. Just get a bit of a drive by if we can. I'm trying to give you as many views as I can uh, manage. There she is. You listen to the uh, carriages moaning and groaning. The bridge is beautifully modelled in this, absolutely stunning. There she is, there's the end, going over the tea bridge. Oh, perfectly timed, we've got a plane, we've got a yacht, we've got a tea bridge, we've got still water, beautiful sunsets, what more could you want? Look at this bridge. 1887 this was built. Speed to uh, 35 as we just take our uh, run into Dundee. Absolutely stunning, 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 stunning. Cool. Let's get the light hitting off the train, look at that. <laughs> Just reduce the speed down to 25. That'll take us into uh, Dundee. Very close now. We should see all the buildings of Dundee suddenly appear shortly. There's that another aeroplane there. So we've got an amber light ahead of us, so caution. I've got lots of planes around, I can see another one there. There's one there on the left, there's one on the right. Got a train coming there's Dundee suddenly appeared. Got a train coming out of the station there. So just got to proceed with caution with this amber light. We've got the uh, network rail guys there. There we go, 25 miles an hour, nice and easy. As we swing round, there's uh, someone in a boat. We're going to pass this train shortly. It's just pulling out of Dundee Station. There you go, Dundee Central. Let's come up on the map. So smooth. Stunning, 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 stunning. Look at that view, look at that. Dundee ahead of us. That most definitely is a screenshot. I post that on my uh, Twitter page. Just gotta watch the speed. Nice and easy. Just take our time. Got a couple of trains backed up there. Trains waiting. What we've we got? We've got four oh, huge freight train there. Ah, speeding. Just gotta watch. I'm getting a bit carried away. It's because we're going downhill. That's why we're going downhill.
So we've got. Zoom in a little bit, get a bit more of a view. There you go. Got container freight there. Just take our time coming into. Uh, is it platform four? Yeah, platform four. You can see the oil tankers there. We've got a car park to our right. And it looks like they have got. I don't know if they're charging points or not. But just gently coming in. I want to overdo it. in to platform four Dundee Central Let's just get our speed right down nice and easy Here's where we need to park, we need to stop about here. All car stop there on the right, you can see. So four, oh, we're spot on, look at that. Absolutely spot on. Let's just jump outside. And have a look on the platform. Let's just swing around, let's just have a quick look. So here we are, Dundee Central, platform four. You, well done, you've reached the end of this quick drive scenario. Well, what can I say? That's been exceptionally enjoyable. Very impressed with this 1070. Hardly any graphics like whatsoever. Join me on the next one.